What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a kind of sit down, little chit chat, um, sharing with you my hospital bag that is packed and the diaper bag that is packed for the hospital. I will be 38 weeks in two days, so I am 37 and 5. I'll show you guys a little bump shot at the end. I'm sorry about my appearance. I'm wearing like sweats today. It's the only thing I feel like comfortable in these last few weeks are definitely exhausting and I'm just ready for him to be here. <laughs> but I'm okay with whenever he decides to come. I just want a healthy baby boy. I wanted to share kind of a proper video on this channel because on my vlog channel I did share with you guys kind of what I was packing and I asked for some suggestions on what else you guys um, think I would need. Uh, again, this is my first baby, so a lot of these things you might personally think that I don't need. Everyone is different, you know, like everyone's experience in the hospital is different. Some people don't even bring a bag. <laughs> some people bring nothing and some people overpack and some people bring, you know, the minimum of what you think you'll need. So I'm kind of going off of what is recommended, but I also probably did overpack just a little bit, but it's okay. It's my first. I will have my own experience and uh, yeah, so let's jump into it. There's also a few other things, last minute stuff that I don't have in here that we're going to grab um, before we leave if we can, um, depending on when that happens. But I will share with you guys just the little extra things that I do plan on throwing in our bag or um, taking last minute. This is actually a duffel bag from CalPAC. Um, they have great luggage and I actually, me and my husband both own CalPAC luggage. I got some for our honeymoon and we just absolutely love it. But this is one of their duffel bags. Um, I'll try to get a link for it, uh, and I'll put it below. Sorry about the sun, guys. It's, like, coming in weird. But, um, it's nice because it's the perfect, like, weekender, like, size. But, and it's not too big. It fits enough, but I've definitely packed this to the top, as you can tell. Um, and then on the bottom of this bag... Oh, boy. Oh, you want to show yours? <laughs> My husband just walked in the room. He's like, I want to show mine. Well, you had to pack yours. Yeah. I kind of have set like a couple things out for him, but he plans to pack a couple change of clothes and whatnot. He got his at, um, what was it, TJ Maxx? It's Steve Madden. He was in need of a nice like duffel. I swear yours is probably bigger than mine, but I think it's because mine has that bottom portion. Well, I'm just assuming and preparing because I'm sure that all the dirty clothes are going to go in my bag. Yeah, that's also another thing. We should make sure that we have, like, like target bag a bag to put dirty clothes bag. in, yeah. Do you want your towel? And my toothbrush? Yeah, because <laughs> I put it in here. What I was trying to show is that this has, like, a bottom portion where you can put, like, shoes. Um, right now I have our, like, bath towels in there. But, um, yeah, let's just start with that, actually, because I'm going to take one of them out. One of the top recommended things that people were telling me to bring was my own towel to shower. Some people don't even think it's necessary to shower. Some people really want to. I was told by my doctor that I most likely will want to wash off and kind of freshen myself up, especially after giving birth. You're just like, there's blood everywhere and it's just, you don't feel the greatest. So just washing off, um, you know, washing yourself a little bit after is nice and that way I can put on like my comfy robe and change out of the gross robe that they give me um and they also said that the towels that they give you like for showering are like the tiny little like rectangle ones and they're not the greatest so I figured we would bring our own I have a washcloth and then I had a towel for me and then I brought a towel for Anthony so I'm gonna put that in his bag. Also have these little slippers in the bottom, and then these are kind of like sock ones. They have the rubber bottom. I do plan on bringing the, this other pair of slippers to walk around in, um, and I also have these UGG slip-ons. But I'm debating if I want to bring them. I don't know. Everyone was saying like be careful with what shoes you're wearing and like 
what you're bringing because the hospital is really dirty and they said you know if you're bringing any nice pairs of shoes or anything that you're gonna want to like wash them or clean them after so I'm debating on if I should bring those Ugh thing. I mean, I was gonna just wear them home. Whatever shoes I am wearing to the hospital, I'll be wearing home, obviously. I'm thinking about just bringing these slippers, um, these just slip-ons, and I can easily like wipe these off. These are from Victoria's Secret. Um, I actually got these for my wedding, and I wore these on my wedding day uh, with my little robe. But yeah, I'm gonna bring these too, just in case. So let's start with my little toiletry bag in here. And then another little essentials bag. I have this bag. Um, and I threw some things in here that I did show in my other video. Um, I don't think I'm going to want to wash my hair, honestly. It depends on how I'm feeling. But I most likely would just want to wash my body. So, And I did throw in a um, Dove body wash because I didn't want anything like too um, with too much fragrance. I have some contact solution and contact lens thing. Dry shampoo, because I feel like that is gonna be a must have. Uh, if I'm not washing my hair, which I most likely won't, I'll definitely wanna freshen up my hair after like probably sweating and going through labor. So dry shampoo, uh, deodorant. And then like I said, I did bring shampoo and conditioner. This is just like the OGX little travel size one. This smells so good. So I have that mouthwash I also have some body lotion I did bring sleepy from lush because this is a really relaxing um, calming scent and I usually put this on every time I go to sleep and also I know my skin is gonna be really dry uh, did I also mention face wash yeah travel face wash just a bunch of random like travel stuff I did bring a little bit of hairspray don't even know if I'm gonna use that uh, it depends on if like we plan on like getting pictures after and I want to like make myself look decent The one thing that I have not packed in here guys is makeup um, I don't even know when I would be going into labor, you know, it could happen in the middle of the night It could happen in the middle of the day um, I don't know if I plan on bringing makeup. I don't know if I'll even care to wear makeup but I might pack maybe just a little travel bag of just like some basic stuff, you know, like foundation, some powder, some mascara, um, bronzer, I don't know, like just something very basic just to throw on if I just feel like I want to look a little bit better. <laughs> and then I also have another little kind of just like um, essentials baggie that I figured I could just have on me. Um, this has some hair ties in here, hair scrunchies. I also have that. Uh, wish garden after ease for pregnancy um, this is basically to help with like after birth contractions you put it in some water or a drink and it's basically like a um, herbal uh, dietary supplement this was recommended by a ton of people I also have some Nivea um, body lotion as well I brought the sleepy one but I'm gonna bring this too because this is probably not as fragrant um, and if my skin gets really dry and then number one thing that Everyone was telling me to bring which I have multiple of these and I have a ton in my purse as well Chapstick um, and I'm bringing Carmex because it's strong and I have like Blistex and I have my um, Lip butter from Corez. I have so many so I'm gonna be good with chapstick but one of the biggest things that everyone was telling me was do not forget chapstick your lips are going to be extremely chapped. Um, I think it's from just like all the breathing and just the whole labor. It gives you really chapped lips and I've already had extremely chapped lips so I come prepared. But let's get more into the bag here. I have a few um, tank tops like nursing uh, tank tops and a bra. I actually got these ones on Amazon so these I haven't tried them on yet, but they look really nice and really comfortable. I love the material. They also do have pads in them, which you can remove. But I like this because they're pretty long. Like, they're a longer tank top, so I feel like they're going to be good for postpartum. And I'll probably wear this, like, under one of my robes or just... I'll probably want to wear one of these when I'm having visitors in the hospital. And these will also be great to wear after I get home. 
Um, I think that these are pretty nice and tight too, so they kind of will like suck in your belly after. But I got them in three colors. It came in a three pack. I'll try to link it below um, if you guys are interested. But I have a black, a gray, and then a white. This is from Target. This is a really comfortable bra. I also love that it has such like a wide, thick band. And it has a lot of the um, hooks in the back. So you can adjust it however you want it. And this is the brand um, Odin, Auden, A-U-D-E-N. I actually ended up getting this in a large and it's a little bit big for me I probably could have used a medium but I feel like I'm gonna grow into it and I'd rather it be bigger than it be smaller I feel like you don't want anything constricting anything too small and I believe I got these in a medium yeah these are medium so I do have an outfit that I will probably wear at home I don't know if I'm gonna wear this I might just wear literally baggy sweatpants or I might just leave in my pajamas. Depends on how I feel, but I wanted options. So I just have this like kind of loose sweater shirt thing. And this is from Target. This is Wild Fable. I have this that I can wear with either sweatpants or I did bring a pair of maternity leggings. Um, some people say that you might want to wear maternity pants home because you are going to still look like you're six months pregnant. Um, it depends on if I really want to get into tight pants, so I don't know how I'm going to feel. I will most likely be wearing that disposable underwear that's like a diaper, so who knows. But I'm just bringing some options. One of my favorite things that I've gotten and I've worn a lot, and you guys have seen in some of my recent videos, is this robe. And this is actually a maternity robe from Pink Blush Maternity. And I love it so much. It is so incredibly comfortable and I've been wearing this a lot. I mainly got it for the hospital, but I love it just for every day to get ready in. Um, and it's kind of like that jersey stretchy material. But I did get this to wear, obviously, after I give birth. And this is something that I'm going to put on once I like it, get cleaned up, get a shower, and get out of the like open back robe that they give me. So I do plan on changing into this. They have this in so many different prints, so many different colors, so I will try to link this below. All of the comfy things that I'm bringing is the same material. Um, I have this nightgown that Anthony got me for Christmas, which I plan to wear as well. Again, depending on how many days we are there, I might just be in a robe the whole time, but if I do wanna change into a like nightgown or something, I did bring um, two things of pajamas, so just two different options. This nightgown is from uh, Target. This brand I am literally obsessed with. I have gone crazy with all of their loungewear and sleepwear, and it's literally what I've been like living in the end of this pregnancy. I got so many pairs of pajamas because I just, I love it so much. Um, it's the Stars Above, Stars Above brand. Check it out. I will try to link these things below. Um, but it is basically a long sleeve button down nightgown. And like I said, it's the same stretchy like jersey material. I love this so much. And I did bring another set of pajamas just in case. I don't even know if I will wear these. And they're more of like my nicer pair of pajamas. So who knows if I will. But this is the Stars Above brand again at Target. And I love this print by the way love the colors and it's buttoned down long sleeves I just wanted some pant options just in case I'm like cold or something but they're just like regular pants I, think I got these in a medium so they're a little bit bigger but I'm sure I don't want anything constricting like my stomach and my waist so who knows maybe I will go home in these I don't know I don't know but last few things that I have are two pairs of fuzzy socks um, this pair Anthony got me from Target, and then these do have the grippy bottoms, so I just figured I would bring both, and then I did get these underwear on Amazon, now I know I'm going to be wearing the disposable underwear, and I probably won't even change into these, but if I do plan on wearing like leggings or whatever I plan on wearing home, I will most likely want to change into underwear. Again, this is all depending on how I'm feeling, but I figured I would get these. They're pretty like big full coverage and 
I think they're a little bit like high-waisted. They do look like they are. I typed into Amazon like postpartum or maternity underwear or something and these came up in like a five pack so I got like gray, black, and white or maybe black and gray. They have a few color options. I mean they're kind of cute. They got little like lace but honestly so this was kind of what I was thinking. I also got some Depends because a ton of people were telling me to have them. So I do have some for at home and I know the hospital will supply me with a ton of stuff. I didn't really want to come home and ruin my underwear so I wanted to get some underwear that I didn't really care about and these are like cheap on Amazon. So I figured I would bring just two pairs of these if I just wanted to wear something other than the disposables. Most likely in the hospital, I will be wearing the diapers. <laughs> um, and then I do have a pair of sweatpants, big baggy sweatpants, um, super loose that I could go home in. So a few options here. You guys probably think like, oh my God, you are overpacking. You don't need any of this, but I would like to be overly prepared than forget anything. So, um, I have our little toothbrush things. I got this at like CVS. They come with the um, toothpaste and the toothbrush. So me and Anthony both have one. I have a hairbrush. And then I also brought just a couple headbands just in case I want to like pull my hair back. I'm having like Braxton Hicks and really bad back aches. Oh my gosh. I have a ton of little nursing pads. I just brought a couple. I don't know if the hospital supplies me with these, but I figured I would just bring my own. Um, I also have my phone charger. Now, this isn't like a super long cord. It's decent. I might bring my other one, but I did bring an extension cord. I don't know if they will allow me to use this. Hopefully they will, but this is a six foot extension, and then it also has like two regular outlet things and then four USB. I figured this would be really helpful if we're charging like my laptop, my camera, multiple phones at once. I figured this would be helpful. It's kind of like an extension cord and this is the iHome. I actually got this for like 20 bucks at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Um, I think it was Marshalls. One of the things that I do plan on bringing is my Yeti. I did get some comments saying that um, bringing like a nice reusable cup, something that'll stay cold, uh, will be good. I know me personally, I like ice water and I also like just chewing on ice. So to have something that will keep my water cold and my ice cold for a long period of time instead of just drinking out of, you know, plastic or styrofoam cups. Uh, I feel like this would just be so worth it and I literally carry my Yetis and all my reusable cups around with me all day So I definitely want to bring this other thing that we are bringing which I'll probably put in Anthony's bag is our Letterboard sign Which I cannot show you guys because it does have the name on it and I have prepped it in advance um, with the date ounces inches time and I have all of the extra letters and numbers in here so yeah, it is all prepped, ready to go. But this is also something that I've seen a lot of people do. So Anthony will probably put this in his bag because I have like no room in mine. But we cannot forget to bring this to announce um, when he is born. A few other things last minute obviously are camera chargers. I will most likely bring my laptop and charger. Um, my Yeti got it. Flip flops. Another recommendation that I've heard from you guys is to bring flip flops for showering because you guys have said that the bathrooms are pretty gross. So I will probably throw in a pair of flip-flops. Snacks for Anthony if he wants any. Um, and then my glasses. So I definitely cannot forget those. Most likely I have to take out my contacts. So I will need my glasses too. Whew, that is everything for my bag. As far as Anthony's, I think his is going to be pretty simple. He's going to bring a couple changes of clothes, towel for him. I got some travel toiletry things like body wash, stuff like that. He has his toothbrush, uh, snacks, chargers, and that's pretty much it. The one thing that I've kind of debated on bringing um, is my own pillow and blanket. I know a lot of people have said that that is like one of their top recommended things. 
I don't know. I feel like I will most likely bring a pillow for me and Anthony, but I don't know. Hospitals kind of skeeve me out. I feel like they're very dirty. So I don't want to bring too much of my own stuff. And then also I'm just trying to think of how much we're going to have to bring home. So that might be something we might grab last minute. I don't know. Sorry if I have the sniffles. I'm still battling this rhinitis, which has not gone away. It's gotten worse. Um, so if you hear me just sniffling a lot, I'm really sorry about it. So let's move on to the diaper bag and what I have packed for the baby. I've mentioned before, and I know that the hospital will provide me with a lot of things for baby. They will provide me with um, diapers, wipes, uh, little like onesies, uh, receiving blankets, things like that. So, so I did pack a few extra just in case, but they mainly say that all you need is like a take home outfit. <laughs> um, and then uh, an outfit if you want like announcement pictures. I guess like because it's my first, I don't know what to expect. God forbid I have emergency C section or something. Um, I don't know how many days we'll be in the hospital for. So I probably did overpack for him, but um, yeah, I'll show you guys right now. This little pocket right here, I did bring some mittens, two things of mittens and two pairs of socks because I don't think the hospital provides me with socks. Depending on what he's in, I feel like I'm going to want to keep his feet a little warm. Uh, and then mittens so he doesn't scratch his face. I have a car seat cover and I love this print. This is from Milk Snob. And this actually matches the one gown that we're going to be probably announcing him in. But I have the car seat cover. And then I also have a nice warm fuzzy blanket. This is from Target. It says I love you all over it. My favorite color inside. This will be great for going home. It is still cold here. Don't know when he will come. But, um, you know, it's winter in New Jersey so we will definitely need a warm blanket for him for the car. I did bring a pack of wipes, probably won't even need them. I also brought a couple diapers, probably won't even need them. Um, as far as outfits, like I said, I do have like his announcement outfit which is one of these gowns and I have two gowns. These gowns are great too because they're just easy to change baby and also when the nurses are coming in to check on him, you don't have to undo a bunch of buttons and have him in like a full blown outfit. I think these gowns are really nice for the hospital. And this is nice too because it does have these things that go over the hands, the little folds, and it does come with a matching hat. Their gown that I have, another little outfit, is this from Lulu & Co. I love, again, this like jersey material, it's so comfortable. This is nice. This is just like a neutral. I love the buttons. Has little white rainbows all over it. And then I have a matching white hat to go with that. So another gown. And I was just debating on like what I wanted to announce him in. But I will most likely do the other one. Also have a matching swaddle blanket. And I only brought one of these. I did bring two other little receiving blankets. Just in case I wanted to swaddle him in these. But I'll most likely want to swaddle him in this because it's much bigger it's stretchy and i want to get some practice in of swaddling so i have this blanket which again is the same print and these are so nice i have another little outfit that he could potentially go home in or just be in depending on how many days we're there this is just a nice little footed onesie has elephants on it has the fold over on the hands and then a matching hat. I threw in a couple other outfits, but honestly, he probably won't even wear them. He'll probably just stay in whatever, but if any of them get like spit up on them or dirty or whatever, this is just another little onesie with pants. Just another option. Um, his take home outfit has his name on it, so I cannot show that, but I got that personalized on Etsy and I love it so, so much. Has a matching hat. You guys will see it soon. That's everything that's in here. Actually, I think I brought some pacifiers. Probably only need like one of them, but I did sterilize them. Um, so that is it for baby. So that is everything. I'm so excited to meet him. I don't know when it's going to happen, um, but whenever he is ready, he's fine with me. I'll try to link some items below if you guys 
are interested about anything that I've shown here. Uh, but I also want to show you guys a quick bump uh, shot. Don't really know if I want to do like another pregnancy update in this video because it's probably already so long as it is. Um, I've had definitely some symptoms these past few weeks. And depending on when I go, I will possibly do another update before he's born or it might have to be after. But like I said, I will be 38 weeks in two days. So I am, uh, you know, towards the finish line here. And I would only have about one more update to do for you guys. I think I ended last time at like 32 weeks or something. But these past few weeks have definitely been a little bit of a struggle. I've had some symptoms here and there. I've talked a little bit about that on my Instagram. And I do update you guys on my socials. So if you do not follow me, make sure you do. Um, I will have all my social media linked below. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything. So um, definitely check that out. I'll have my Instagram handle right here so you guys can follow me. But I post on my stories a lot and let you guys know, you know, what's going on. And I will most likely post on there when I'm going into labor. So if anything, if you want to keep updated on, you know, my pregnancy and when this baby comes, then definitely follow me on Instagram. You can also check out my vlog channel. I have posted some vlogs over there, a lot of our Christmas festivities. Um, so you guys can check that out as well. And I will have all of those links below. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned, where I got anything, um, links to anything, you can reach out to me on Twitter, Instagram, or comment below. I will try to get back to you as best as I can, depending on when this video go goes up and when I go into labor. So I apologize if I don't get back to you right away. Hopefully in my next video, I will have a healthy baby boy in my arms and I will get to share with you guys his name and all of the exciting things to come. I cannot wait. Happy New Year, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.